Hello traders, this is a live trade recap and a good day trading lesson video because I made a huge mistake today and it did cost us money, but one of the points that I want to drive across in this video that is so important is that in trading, you can make a huge mistake and sometimes make a lot of money. So you need to be very honest with yourself and realize when the mistake was made and don't just brush it off and say, well, I got lucky it worked out. I don't need to worry about it. No, that mistake can cost you double, triple, quadruple in the future. So just because you get lucky and you make a mistake and it works out, don't brush it off. Make sure that you acknowledge it. Make sure that you take responsibility for it. I think there's way too much of this kind of um, it's okay, everyone makes those mistakes type of mentality out there in the YouTube trading world. I mean, you don't want to uh, do anything drastic, anything crazy uh, like some traders do when they make big mistakes, but you have to acknowledge your mistakes, otherwise you are going to make some massive mistake that leads to some devastating uh, realization. So. Make sure that as you go through your trading journey, you are tracking everything you're doing. You have a trading plan. And when you do something outside of that trading plan, either on purpose or inadvertently, you must take responsibility. You must acknowledge it. Otherwise, you could be heading for that huge, huge disaster uh, that could really mess up your life. So I know that sounds super heavy, but I really think that... Uh, that it's it needs to be said because there is just too much of a pat yourself on the back and just say it's okay everyone does it um, type of mentality out there and I'm and I'm certain that that's what leads to these tragic stories that we hear of these traders either losing their life savings and some of them end up doing something really stupid afterwards which uh, is very unfortunate so <clears throat> if anything hopefully this video helps you guys avoid those what we call black swan events because um, that's the key to long-term trading and long-term living if I'm honest so <clears throat> what happened today what happened today is uh, again it's a it's it really is kind of a huge mistake but it could be so so much worse and that's why I want to make this this mistake impactful so that I don't make that ginormous mistake down the road that could you know, really be a huge catastrophe. So with FWBI, the mistake that I made this morning was that it had too low volume and I didn't see that until after the fact. Once I'm, I'm in the trades, that's it. I have to stick to the plan and take the three trades. But let's, let's go through the video. This is the recording and I think we'll be able to see it here on the screener. In fact, I can already see it. So uh, let me see, when did I place it? So here's where I placed FWBI on the chart. And somehow during the trading day, I didn't see, well, I know how because just recently I added a low volume limit. In fact, yesterday, I think I posted it on my Patreon page to, to set a low volume limit for the uh, amount of volume that you're willing to trade with. And FWBI does not meet that low volume limit. And somehow I missed it. I didn't do it on purpose, I can tell you that, um, believe it or not. But, um, you know, I was trying to check the volume on most of these stocks. Maybe I looked, you know, at the ticker symbol and looked to the right and saw 1.24 million. I don't know. But, uh, or maybe I just didn't look at all. Maybe I forgot to because this is kind of a new rule. So the problem with trading the top gainers screener is that it can pull up stocks with very low volume. Like some of them will even have single digit volume. Here's GYRO with 481 shares of volume. That is not sufficient to trade. It doesn't matter how much it's up or down or whatever uh, the case may be. So the same thing happened here on FWBI. It uh, was up about 10%, but it only had 65,000 shares of volume. That is not sufficient to trade with. I set a minimum, which is a very low minimum, of 250,000 shares. And um, that would have saved us at least from these three trades. I'm not saying that, you know, today would have been a great day. Otherwise, we would have had a green day or whatever. We don't know that. But what we do know is that we made a mistake and we need to acknowledge that mistake and keep track of it so that when we go forward, we don't make it again. So FWBI is on the chart, and I, now I'm waiting for it to trigger uh, a trade, basically. So I'm setting my alert at the pre previous session high, which was 350. And as soon as the price crosses that level, that's where I need to 
pay attention to this ticker symbol. There were other ticker symbols as well that I was looking at that I had alerts on, and uh, FWBI is the one that triggered it, that hit our alert first. So, so basically, I did everything right except for one major thing, and that was checking the volume. And you see how one one single mistake could lead to a huge, huge loss relative to what you're normally losing or trading or whatever. So um, here's here's the alert for FWBI. So that is my signal to just focus on that one stock and trade that stock only. So you're going to see me put that on the big chart here. And now I'm just waiting for my uh, entry signal. So all everything else you're going to see from here on out is kind of... Um, just just the I guess the propagation of the error of picking a low volume stock and again any one of these trades could have worked out and I could have gotten lucky so the I guess the good news is that at some point something happened and made me second guess what you know did I pick the right stock here did I look at the volume and then once I was in the first trade I believe after I took the first trade I realized my error so I took the f first entry, um, just as always, th this is exactly to the plan, this entry. Again, it's the, what's not to plan is that this stock should have never been traded in the first place because it didn't have the volume requirement that I set in the trading plan. So I'm in the trade and then I get stopped out, but d it was while I was in the trade that I started to question the volume. I think I probably hovered over some of these volume candles and thought, there's no way this thing can have 250,000 shares of volume. And then I checked on my laptop and it definitely didn't. But I've already started the process of uh, taking the, the three trades that I must tra take according to the plan. So uh, I continued to trade it and this is trade number two. So there's trade number two for the break of the one minute candle there and place the stop loss down here. So these were pretty high risk trades, meaning, you know, the the uh, the risk per each trade was high. The dollar amount per trade uh, relative to our other trades. And that could go either way because those could be, you know, huge winners. But again, this one, it it's a good thing it wasn't a winner because it might have kind of fogged my memory about this trade and you definitely want to know that you messed up when you mess up and losing the trades in fact losing all three trades that helps cement the idea so really this is a good thing that i lost these trades because now we can see the true potential damage that a mistake can cause again you could still do everything right you can do everything right follow your plan trade the right volume and still lose all three trades but at least after you've done that, you say, hey, look, I did everything in my power. I did everything right, and it just didn't work out today. But today, that's not the case. Today, I made a mistake. Today, I did something wrong, and, and we lost. So I think if you're going to make a mistake, the best outcome is that you do lose all the trades because you want to remember that you made a mistake, and you want to know, hey, I did something wrong, and I need to correct that. If you do get lucky... It's really tricky because you can start to become a very, um, how should I say, sloppy trader where you just kind of disregard mistakes and you start to purposefully break your plan because you know you can get away with it sometimes. But eventually that catches up with you and you lose everything. So um, so here we go. This is, the I think, the end of trade number two. And then I have to take one more trade. Everything kind of flat topped for a while, so it took a while for a one minute candle to make a new high. And yeah, this is very low volume at this point, but this at the at this point, this is just me trying to get back on the horse and and follow the trading plan, which says I must take three trades. You know, if the previous two fail, I have to take uh, all three trades. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Even knowing, you know, I'm taking I'm. I'm potentially taking losses that I don't need to take. But again, it's more about the trader discipline. And I think that the best thing to do whenever you realize you made a mistake is to get back on track as soon as possible. And that doesn't mean going to some other ticker symbol and starting it all over again. That would be kind of totally ignoring the mistake that you made. So um, I think that this is the right way to do it. So this is me entering for the break of this one minute candle. And uh, look looks strong you know based off of this one candle but you'll see it flushed right down and that's because this thing had low volume 
So it had big spreads and then the price can move a lot in just a short amount of time. And that's what happened here. Look at that. It went from the 328 right down to 320 and it's going to stop me out in a few seconds. And this is one of the bigger losses we've had in this whole plan. So um, we'll go over all the results at the end of the week. But yeah, this is today's loss, $16.42. Um, we have had a winner that was as big as like $30. So it's not as big as our biggest winner. But um, but that's a big loss for, for this uh, trading plan. Right now we're just trading with $100 per share. And our average uh, risk on each trade was about $375. So um, so our max loss days on average should be around, I guess, $11, $12. So it's just a little bit larger than the max loss day. But again, I don't want to minimize this. This was a big mistake on my part. I did write it into the plan that we need a 250,000 volume share limit yesterday. And today I screwed up and I didn't wasn't able to follow that rule, even though I attempted to. And yeah, of course, you could say, well, that it, the, the rule's only been in place one day, so you're going to mess up sometimes. Don't be so hard on yourself. But <laughs> not being so hard on yourself is what leads to these huge, huge errors. So you really do need to acknowledge it. We're big boys. We can take it. You know, it's not a big deal. Uh, we need to, to uh, owe up to our mistakes and move on. That's it. So... But definitely owe up to it, definitely acknowledge it, and you know, do what it takes to make sure that you don't make it again. If you just brush it off and say it's okay, everybody makes mistakes, then guess what's going to happen down the road? You're going to keep making those mistakes. So that's my two cents on that. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. As always, I really strongly recommend that you go into every single trade with a plan. You stick to that plan no matter what. Always take your stop losses, honor your profit target, and in the long run, you should be green. Take care.